First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rokak Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone that rule well, and a sincere salutation to the Akim pushing his truth and sincerity, Bahashem Rokak Kodash. So as you brothers have seen, okay, what's going on in Israel right now, you know, basically, um, you got the Sakari so-called trying to uh, come up against the apostles, okay, and, and their leaders, okay, who they were once under, and how um, it's really not looking good for them, you know, they're, they're being seen for their, uh, their wickedness, their hypocrisy, and their outright twisting of the scriptures, and, um, you know, there's a lot of brothers that are doing videos, okay, and, um, Rightfully so, because, you know, some of the things that they are pushing are damnable heresies. And the scriptures speak about, um, about, um, men denying Yahweh by Shem Yashai and pushing damnable heresies. You know, the scriptures speak about, uh, men crept in unawares, okay, men that were, um, ordained to this condemnation since the foundation of the world. You know, so, you know, as you see these things, you know, them being made a mockery, you know, um, them being exposed, okay, and them basically uh, deceiving and being deceived, you know, it makes you, uh, it makes you want to be on toes, okay, and um, that's basically um, what the nature of this lesson is going to be, just a reminder Okay, just a reminder to, 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 you know, to fear, you know, fear, uh, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So if you want to be wise, okay, and you want to serve the Heavenly Father and you want to see good, you know, then you have to take heed to the word. That's why a young man cleanses his ways. But these guys, they, um, they're hearers, but they're not doers. And we all must guard from being a hearer, not a doer. Okay, because we are all men in the flesh. We are all in the flesh. And one thing I'm going to say is that there is, there's highs and there's lows in this truth. And as I get older in the faith, I, I, I come to realize that um, they were, were, were uh, pretty much rehearsing the righteous acts. You know, we've come back to the understanding that we're Israelites and, you know, we're trying to live the Israelite life to the best that we can in Babylon, you know. So I saw, I've been seeing all these videos on my uh, YouTube feed and it's, and it's caused me to like, to really examine and really think like, man, I don't want to be in that position. And I don't know when, I know none of you brothers, the sincere brothers do either. But let's let's read this, okay? Nothing too deep, right? We got to be aware of that deep demon, you know, like these guys wanting to uh, uh, justify having sex on the Sabbath, okay? They think they, you know, they say that we're adding to the law, but, you know, to the word and, and making our own laws. But actually, it's you, you know, you guys are because you guys are really feeding yourselves without fear, you know, you guys are all in the assembly of, of the nation of Israel and you got your own thing going. You know, you're selling your uh, the truth and making money, selling breakdowns. And, you know, you become everything that you said you weren't because you once were a part of Great Millstone. So you all have done a 360, changed the doctrine and, and you know, basically have done your own thing. So... Y'all are really not fearing, okay? So, um, let's start here, okay? Let's start here, okay? A couple verses in the book of Psalms 34, and this is a Psalm of David, man. And remember what David did, okay? Remember what David did, you see? And we're hoping to get the sure mercies of David because David commend, uh, committed a sin that was unto death, you see? So if you're part of that election, you know, hey, 
Blessed are you because your sins are going to be ultimately blotted out. Okay? And, you know, if you get it, you get it. And if you see and the Lord is supping with you and guiding you through your through your uh, your miscarries, then, yeah, you're blessed. Okay? But the scriptures speak about cursed children. Okay? Who basically wither in this truth. And we don't want to be like that. All right, so let's read this. This is the book of Psalms 34, and we'll start at 6. It says, This poor man cried, and Yahweh by Shimei Shai heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. Okay, the Lord will save you out of all your troubles. Aina. Strong's H, 6041. Ani. Anya. Ani. Poor, afflicted, humble, wretched. What did Paul say? Oh, wretched man that I am, who shall save me from the body of this death? Okay? We need salvation. We need you, Yahweh Shai, to cover us. And Lord willing, we are covered. Okay? But we are poor. We're afflicted. We're, we're humble. We're needy. Yes, we are weak at times. We're humble. You see? The Lord is going to save a man that is humble. Not a man that is full of pride. Not a man that, that, that maketh an excuse you know, for his own will. The Lord will save a man, okay, out of all of his troubles. It says, The angel of the Lord encampeth around about them that fear him and delivereth them. Okay? So, there's angels around those that fear Yahweh by Shem Shai. Okay? So, you have to fear, man. That's, that's what's being wise. Because if... You fear the Lord, what He can do for certain actions. You know you won't do you won't do them, and therefore cometh uh, righteousness. Therefore cometh more wisdom. You see, so it says, "Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusted in Him." Right, the Lord is good. The truth is good. The law is good, and we keep it to the best of, it, of our ability because we can't keep it. You see, the, the truth. Is, is not boring. The truth is not. Uh, what did uh, Sakari say? I don't want to have a boring Passover. So he went and, and, and had half naked, you know, saying women uh, running around his Passover. You know, but, that, you know, that that's not good. You know, that's putting a spin and a twist on, on, you know, the Lord's high holy days. Okay. Blessed is the man that trusted in him. Trust in the Lord. Trust in this truth. Trust in the word. O oh, fear Yahweh, ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. Okay? Fear the Lord, saints. Okay? Lord willing, we are those saints. For there is no want to them that fear him. Right? Let's look at this word want. Strong's age, 4270. Machsor. Machsor. Right, need, poverty, thing, needed, need, thing, needed, lack, want, need, poverty, right? You know, the Lord blesses you in this truth. The Lord subs with you. You know, he makes you to prosper, especially when you're when you're following the commandments, especially when you're you're being obedient. Okay, you're you're humble, you're walking lowly, you're watching what you do, watching what you say. You see? It says the young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Okay? So. Yeah, they're, they're, you know, they that seek Yahweh by Shem Yashai shall not want any good thing. Okay? For the most part, brothers, is, is taken care of. Okay? Because they do that thing which pleases the Lord. And moreover, when you don't lack this truth, when you, when you got the oil, when you, when you can see, okay, through things, through scenarios, and, and through certain, you know, pitfalls and downfalls, and, 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 and when you can see through anything, through everything, through the Spirit and Prayer of Yahweh man, that's because you you don't lack. You don't lack the oil. Okay? It says, Come, ye children, hearken unto me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. You see? This is a psalm of David. So let's let's see what what uh, David.
David spoke about the fear of the Lord. What man is he that desireth life? And I was thinking that today. I was thinking that today because, you know, I did a video myself on um, the Deacon Haka, uh, Haka, okay, and what he said about uh, GMS making up a new law, no sex on the Sabbath, and that, um, that we said the Yahweh was defiled. I went and uh, basically uh, refuted that those claims, you know, and um, this morning I couldn't help but see all these videos that came out on him and, and on uh, Al-Azhar. You know, from the Sakari, and, and 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 I was thinking to myself, man, I would love to see another day in the truth. I would love to be on the right side of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. I don't want to be on the wrong side. You know, I don't want to, you know, be that 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 seed that was basically um that withered away. Okay, so I was meditating on a meditating on a video. That, you know, um, this is one of the scriptures that came to my mind: "Is what man is he that desireth life, and loveth many days that he may see good?" Right? You want to live your days out in the truth. You know, the the life that you have, you want to live it, being in the truth. You don't you don't want to be without the knowledge. You know, without the brotherhood. You want to be inside the circle. You know. It says, keep thy tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking guile. And that's the thing. Not only with the doctrine, but, you know, in, in, in your daily life. In your walk. Because this is what it's really about, you know. The scriptures say, not only um, in my presence, but in my absence, seek out your own salvation with fear and trembling, right? But keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking guile. Let's look up this word guile. Strong's H forty eight twenty. Mirma. Mirma. Deceit, treachery. What does it say down here? In the sense deceiving fraud. Okay. These other Israelite camps, their leaders are speaking fraud. Fraudulent claims on the on the scriptures. Fraudulent claims on Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Craft, deceit, false, feigned, guile, subtility, treachery. We don't want to be treacherous in this thing. You know? So you have to keep your tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking guile. And the scriptures say that a perfect man can bridle the tongue. But it also says that a tongue, uh, the tongue is... A member that no man can tame. So you have to watch your mouth, man. You know? That is of a truth. It says, depart from evil and do good. You see? Depart from evil and do good. Let's get a precept real quick. One comes to mind. It's in the book of Job, the 30, Salakia. Depart from evil and do good, right? Did we not start with, I will teach you the, um, the fear of the Lord? This is Job 28 and 28. And unto man, he said, behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. Okay, you fearing the Lord, you're being wise because you know the Lord can jack you up. It says, and to depart from evil is understanding. You see, departing from evil is understanding. Okay. When you know the Lord is going to jack you up for doing something and you don't do it, now you understand. Okay, that's the point that we all want to get to. More and more understanding, more and more departing from evil. So let us learn the fear of the Lord, that we may see many days, that we may see good. That's what it's all about, right? Life is about winning. It's not about losing. 
It's not about being rebellious. It's not about being the the bad guy. People are so stuck in, you know, being some type of tough guy, carnal guy, pleasing the flesh. And you come to understand that that's, that's the opposite of life. This truth will tell you that. Okay. So going back, depart from evil. We read it is understanding. So depart from evil and do good. When you do good, you're starting to understand. You're starting to be wise because you're fearing the Lord. And that's what it's all about. Seek peace and pursue it. Right. Seek peace, man. Look for peace. You know, protect your peace. You know, as they say, protect your peace, man. You know, and pursue it. C continue to pursue peace. You know, the scriptures tell you also um, in the book of Ephesians 4, let's get that, Ephesians 4 and 2, endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. Make effort in the NLT to keep yourselves united in the spirit, binding yourselves together with peace. You see, this this is speaking about the body. You know, of believers, but nonetheless, even in your own life, make an effort to keep yourself united in the spirit. Be, be, be in the spirit. Okay. Binding yourselves together with peace. Okay. You know, and a lot of people would think that, you know, these type of scriptures are weak or, but really, man, you know, these are the scriptures that keep you on the straight and narrow. These are those character building scriptures that you need to cleave to especially in times when you see the lord making examples of guys you know depart from evil and do good seek peace and pursue it you see the eyes of yahweh bashim yahweh are upon the righteous and his ears are open unto their cry so the lord is watching the righteous they're upon the righteous and his ears are open unto their cry the face of Yahweh is against them that do evil to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. You see? So the face of the Lord is against them to do evil. The Lord is against evildoers to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. Look up this word cut, to cut off. Strong's H, 3772. Karath. Karev. This is to cut, cut off, cut down, cut off a body part, cut out, eliminate, kill, cut a covenant to cut off. Right. Right. You don't want to be cut off from the body. You don't want to be eliminated. Okay. From the body. To cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry and the Lord heareth and delivereth them out of all their troubles. You see? you want the Lord to uh, deliver you out of all your troubles, you what? you got to be righteous. The Lord is nigh to them that are of a broken heart and save as such as be of a contrite spirit. Right. you got to be repentant. That's really what this is talking about. Being repentant, man. Okay. Always examine yourself. Always being humble. Being able to be taught. Acknowledging your miscarries, acknowledging your faults, working on them, having integrity, actually working on them, praying on them, and trying to fix them. Okay? Broken and contrite. You want to be broken and contrite. Look at these words when you get a chance. This is many are the afflictions of the righteous. Right? Many are the troubles of the righteous, man. Don't think that the righteous don't have troubles. But see, they have something that others don't and that's favor of the lord that's grace okay so as long as we're in this truth under the uh the leadership of the apostles and the elders and the wise wise men of great millstone okay you know the lord you could very much be supping with you okay many are the afflictions of the righteous you know make no mistake but Yahweh, by Shem Yashai, delivereth him out of them all. You see? A lot of people think that we don't go through things. We're just jumping on people. And that's not that's not of a truth. You know? 
we go through things too. The thing about it is that there's an Israel of the Most High and there's a, there's just Israel. Okay, we always speak about the elect. Okay, and through the Spirit, you know, we 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 you know we believe to be, you know, part of that number, man. And we say it humbly, you know, hey, we say Lord willing. It says he keepeth all his bones, but not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked. Evil shall slay the wicked, and they that hate righteousness shall be desolate. Right? They'll be guilty. All right? Hard times come to the wicked. A lot of judgment. It says, and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. Yeah, you'll be guilty. Okay? You know, you will, you will be, uh, how do you say? You will be shown to be, to be lacking. It says, Yahweh redeemeth the soul of his servants. And none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. Okay. Right. The Lord redeemeth the soul of his servants. Look at this word redeem. It's all about being what? Part of that elect. Having that favor. Strong's H, 6299, Pada, Pada. Right, rescue, to ransom, redeem, rescue, deliver, to ransom, to be ransomed, to allow one to be ransomed, redeemed. The Lord redeemeth the soul of his servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. Strong's H, H16, Asham. To offend, Asham. be guilty, trespass, commit an offense, do injury. What does it say here? To be incriminated. What does it say? To declare guilty. Okay? Ultimately, none of the elect are going to be declared guilty, man. The Lord's going to save his servants. And that's why it's 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 beautiful to serve Yahweh Bashem Shai. Okay, so I just wanted to read this as a reminder, man, to fear the Lord. This is how you fear the Lord. Okay, this is how a man uh, that desires life and loveth many days, you know, how he may see good by, you know, taking heed to the word, not as others who are who are rebellious. You know, let us not be rebellious. Let us take heed. You know, notice I say us, you know, because I speak for myself first and foremost. You know, so I just wanted to bring this out, you know, remember these scriptures. These are not just um, things, you know, to look over. I mean, hey, there's a lot of there's a lot to be uh, to be understood, you know, sp starting with yourself first. All right. So Lord willing, this was uh, edifying. All right. To the next time I say Shalom.